Feeling the subtle shifts in your body can be unsettling, especially when they hint at something as serious as an impending stroke. But worry not, you're not navigating this journey alone. We've plunged into the depths of this subject and stand ready to guide you in spotting these signs a remarkable 30 days before a potential stroke strikes. Welcome to our channel, Longevity Deprocessed. Our video today is packed with eye-opening revelations about the nine warning signs of a stroke, astonishing cues that we're about to unveil. Life's hustle and bustle can sometimes drown out the vital messages our bodies are sending. So take a moment to pause, tune in, and get familiar with these signals. Don't miss out on the opportunity to uncover the precursor signs that you could pick up on 30 days prior to a stroke. It's not just about protecting your health. It's an act of self-care and compassion. Let's dive in and share this video, ensuring everyone around us can grab onto these invaluable signs and maintain a life filled with wellness and happiness. Number one, nausea and retching can indeed serve as red flags for an impending stroke, primarily due to their link with disrupted blood flow to the brain. The brain depends on a steady supply of oxygen and nutrients carried through the bloodstream. When this flow is disrupted, as in a stroke, it can trigger various neurological symptoms, including queasiness and retching. These reactions stem from the brain's response to the altered blood flow and its impact on bodily functions, including digestion. This disruption can set off the body's retching reflexes as the brain strives to regain equilibrium. While queasiness and retching can signal an impending stroke, they're not exclusive indicators and can arise from other conditions. For example, food poisoning or viral infections affecting the gastrointestinal tract can evoke similar reactions as the body fights off invaders. Motion sickness, a result of signals from the eyes and inner ear, can also induce queasiness and retching. Although there's no concrete evidence of precursory indicators months before a stroke, several risk factors significantly increase the likelihood of one occurring, include high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, high cholesterol, and heart conditions. Diligent management of these risks, along with adopting a health-conscious lifestyle, is crucial in reducing the chances of experiencing a stroke. Number two, wariness. That relentless feeling of exhaustion might just whisper a warning about the stealthy approach of a stroke. It's like a subtle prod nudging you to pay closer attention. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it. If you could subscribe and like, this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Dive deeper and you'll uncover intriguing connections. Fatigue goes beyond ordinary tiredness. It's your body's nuanced way of hinting at possible irregularities. Surprisingly, insufficient rest plays a crucial role, upsetting the delicate balance within your body. Stress, too, joins the ensemble, exerting its silent influence on your overall well-being. And to add a twist and imbalanced diet steps into the spotlight, disrupting your body's harmony and potentially escalating the risk of a stroke. Number three, speech struggles. When it comes to strokes, grappling with speech difficulties is more than just a minor inconvenience. It's like your body's way of sounding the alarm about potential brain issues. Tripping over words, slurring speech, and grappling with expressing thoughts, they're all pieces of a complex puzzle. It's as though your brain and tongue are engaged in a dance to find harmony. Recognizing the link between speech troubles and stroke risk is crucial. Think of it as your body's urgent plea for attention. If you're encountering these hurdles, especially alongside other warning signals, it's a subtle yet compelling call to take proactive steps. Number four, imagine your blood pressure as a silent orchestra conductor orchestrating the flow of life-giving blood through your body's intricate network of arteries. Ideally, the symphony plays at around 120 over 80, but when those numbers soar past 140 over 90, it's like the conductor waving the baton a bit too vigorously, a sign of trouble ahead. High blood pressure isn't just a numerical game. It's a subtle reminder that our blood vessels, including those crucial ones leading to our brain, are under siege. They demand extra support from the heart to keep the rhythm going. Now, let's explore how high blood pressure and stroke are like old adversaries, engaging in a silent battle within our bodies. 
High blood pressure weakens the fortress-like walls of our blood vessels, laying the groundwork for heart issues to creep in. Worse still, it can trigger the release of tiny saboteurs, clots, or plaques that sabotage the brain's blood flow, setting the stage for a potential stroke. Remember, the higher the blood pressure, the greater the risk of stroke. It's a wake-up call to get those numbers back in harmony. But why does high blood pressure come knocking at our door in the first place? Well, it's not a solo performance. It's more like a jam session with multiple players. Factors like genetics, age, yes, time does play a role. And lifestyle choices such as weight, alcohol intake, smoking, diabetes, and our love affair with salty treats. They all join in the chorus. But fret not, we're not powerless in this battle. Keeping a vigilant eye on our blood pressure and having heart-to-heart -heart chats with our doctors serve as our first line of defense. And guess what? Lifestyle tweaks will immense power too. Incorporating regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can be the secret weapons in our arsenal against high blood pressure. So let's conduct this symphony of health with finesse and rhythm, ensuring our bodies sing in perfect harmony. Number five, vision anomalies can serve as vital clues regarding potential strokes, acting as the body's alarm system, signaling possible disruptions in brain blood flow. When it comes to vision concerns, a spectrum of indicators demands our attention, from blurred vision to double vision and even partial or total loss of vision in one or both eyes, these manifestations form part of the body's intricate warning mechanism. Think of them as subtle cues our body is sending, urging us to take notice and heed their significance. Number six, a dance of balance and coordination within the brain's core, crucial for seamless movement, underscores the significance of balance disturbance as a stroke warning. This neural conductor orchestrates sensory inputs and motor outputs, ensuring fluid motion. When this conductor stumbles, instability results, culprits include inner ear woes, weakening muscles, and medication effects. Inner ear maladies, like vestibular disorders, confuse brain signals on orientation, skewing balance, weak muscles from diverse ailments, hinder stability, and response to shifts. Meds can play their part too, causing dizziness or drowsiness, upping the tumble risk. These aren't lone agents. They mingle, magnifying imbalances threat. Number seven, numbness or weakness in limbs feeling a loss of sensation or strength in your face. Arms or legs isn't just a passing inconvenience, especially in the context of strokes. Let's unravel the potential origins of these sensations. We're dealing with compressed nerves, joint inflammation, and even carpal tunnel syndrome. They're like the usual suspects when it comes to numbness or weakness. But when these sensations intersect with strokes, there's a connection we can't afford to overlook. Consider it your body's way of dropping subtle hints that demand attention. If you notice these sensations, particularly alongside other symptoms, it's a cue to take decisive action. Number eight, memory matters. While many chalk up forgetfulness to the natural course of aging, recent research hints at a deeper significance. Erasmus University Rotterdam embarked on a journey to uncover the hidden meanings behind memory lapses. Published in Stroke, their study unraveled a fascinating connection between memory issues and the risk of stroke, especially among those with higher education. Unlike previous studies focusing on stroke's impact on memory, this research took a novel twist, exploring whether cognitive struggles might foreshadow strokes. The results? A staggering 39% increase in stroke risk among educated individuals reporting memory lapses. Surprisingly, this group included college graduates and skilled vocational trainees. Number nine, sudden headaches, uh, those unexpected pounding headaches. They're like the body's way of sounding the alarm especially when accompanied by other telltale signs. Now, headaches come in all shapes and sizes, each with its own backstory. There's tension, there are migraines, and then there's the classic sinusitis, all part of the headache spectrum. But here's the twist. When it comes to severe headaches and strokes, there's a connection that demands our attention. If your head is throbbing and other symptoms linger, it's like your body's trying to send a cryptic message. By deciphering these clues, we can act swiftly and potentially lower the risk of a stroke. 
Let's heed these signals and stay on the journey to well-being. Moreover, in scenarios where sudden and intense symptoms surface, such as speech hurdles, abrupt tingling, while weakness in the face, arms or legs, or a throbbing migraine, swift medical attention becomes crucial. These signs could potentially herald the onset of a stroke and necessitate immediate medical intervention. Thank you for investing your time in watching the enlightening video we've presented. If you found this information informative, please consider sharing it with your circle so they too can glean invaluable insights into stroke prevention. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more captivating health and nutrition content. Here's to your well-being.